The November election just two months away now and the state needs your help. Sure, today is National Poll Worker Recruitment Day. So joining us now live is Tennessee Secretary of State Trey Hargett. And good morning to you, Secretary Hargett. It's good to see you again. I good morning. It's good to start National Poll Worker Recruitment Day off with you and Amy. Absolutely. So I understand you're hiring. <laughs> you know, we're, we are hiring. We'll take you in a heartbeat. <laughs> take him. Ouch. Take him, All Secretary. Right, <laughs> so exactly how many do you need? What are we looking for right now? I mean, we need poll workers to staff all of the different locations, right? And we're a little shorthanded That's right, right, right now. That's right. You know, if you look across the state, it takes about 17,000 poll workers to administer the elections across the state. And of course, we have a greater need this year. We're going to have more absentee ballots. So it takes more people to help count those ballots on election day. We would love to be able to recruit an additional 2,000, 2,500 in addition to the 3,700 we already recruited for the August election. We would go into this rather having too many than not enough. And obviously with the pandemic and people who might be considering uh, taking you up on this offer, uh, you know, what would you tell them as far as them being able to stay safe working at the polls? Great question, Amy. You know, the, poll, the, the polls around the state are probably one of the cleanest places you could be during early voting election day. We have taken tremendous precautions, not only with social distancing, but also making sure that the poll officials have the necessary PPE to work the polls and reducing all the touch points of voters as they come in. And the most common comment I've heard from people as they left the polls, and I visited 40 counties during early voting, was they said, wow, I felt like I walked into a doctor's office or a surgical treatment center. That's how clean they are. They've done a great job of making sure they are safe, clean, and secure. So the poll workers for sure should feel safe. And, and I guess the same would apply then to voters when they show up to cast their ballots. Your message to them would be, you're going to be safe. There's no reason at all for you not to head out to the polls if you're worried about COVID-19. No, I would say come, come vote in person. It's, a, it's clean, it's safe and secure. We're gonna have the, we take necessary precautions. And I am asking people to wear a face cover when they come to vote. I think that's the right thing to do for everybody involved. And, uh, and our poll officials are doing that for the voters. We ask the voters to do that for our poll officials. And for the people who do qualify though to vote by mail in November, what do they need to know to make sure that their vote counts? Uh, great question, Amy. So go to govotn.com and that's where you can get the absentee ballot request form or contact your local election commission and make sure you get that request in. Ballots will start going out sometime in mid-September. And then once you get that ballot, fill it out, send it back in, don't delay, because we don't want to have the, the situation where some people get to election day and it always happens and they say, oh, my ballot's sitting mm -hmm. on my desk, I forgot to mail it in. And they'll call us and ask what to do. So get that ballot back into the local election commission. All right, and we just saw your dog go up the stairs, <laughs> Secretary. He, uh, he wanted to make a little uh, cameo yeah. today. You know, nothing wrong with that. That's the only thing that happens during this will be good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you, sir. Thank you, Secretary Thanks, Hargett, for your time with us this morning. We appreciate it. Hope things go well for you. Thank you very much for the opportunity.